Hello and welcome to another edition of What's Moving in the Forex Market, brought to you by myself, Kurt Capra, and Pristine Trading. As always, please keep in mind that all comments are for educational purposes only and should not be construed as investment advice. Taking a look at where things are at here today, we, uh, we've got Aussie US dollar in our kind of highlight pair of the week. And, you know, as I was looking uh, across multiple pairs, seeing what's going on, there's not a whole lot. I mean, there, there's some pullbacks to support or rallies into resistance. But by and large, uh, the way in which we've gotten to these areas really hasn't been the cleanest. And so things are a little a little more volatile, a little less decisive, if you will. Uh, but the Aussie US dollar pair, I actually highlighted in one of our previous videos. So if you want to check that out, you can do so by just looking in the in the past history. But anyway, wanted to follow up on that one and, and just reiterate the fact that it is weak, it is moving lower and has room to continue moving lower. So Looking at the daily chart here, we had this attempt to move up that failed. We got this big move down, broke under support. So you had a nice little continuation down right here. And then um, Friday, you know, last Friday, we had that little inside day. And here we are getting some follow through to it today. So for for today, looks like we could definitely get some nice downside action. Uh, and, and overall, I'm expecting this trend to continue lower. It might be a bit of a, a bleed, may not be the cleanest, but overall... I am going to be looking for this to to move lower down, you know, into uh, on on the upper end of things, you know, if it if it decides to get really strong, come down and hold this support, which is right around the uh, 0.723940 area. Uh, on the lower end, though, it could come all the way back down towards the 0.7115 and and even lower. Uh, because we've got this big rounded top. Some might look at this as like a, a head and shoulders, what have you. But the bottom line is supply has come in and, and the, the sellers, the bears are driving this down with some with some authority. OK, and looking at the weekly chart, you can see that it's being confirmed here. I mean, yeah, you had this one little push up above some resistance, but overall it tried to break out here. It failed. And it broke under this little minor consolidation, which if things were strong, it would have held. So the fact that the breakout failed and we got this break of support says to me, you know, this really isn't as strong as what was being suggested. So there is certainly, as you can see, still some opportunity for downside, especially if we lose this this final moving average, then you might really start to see the the bears start to really drive things back to lower levels. And also, you know, just to, to round things out, take, take a look at the monthly, you can see that the monthly was actually uh, a nice move up into some longer term resistance from back in... Uh, you know, to 2015 and and um, so that is really confirming the bearish bias. The fact that we rallied into that resistance and now we're coming back down uh, confirms the bias. And you know, again, as I said, we could come down into the uh, 0.71 one uh, five area and see where it goes from from there. And maybe even longer term, I'm not saying that this is going to happen here in, in in the near future, but longer term, you know, we could be looking at a move down below this this pivot low and back down to test these lows back here from um, 2008. All right. So some things to keep in mind. But uh, as we kind of circle back here to the daily, you can see what I'm looking at here with this nice move up, which could have been traded to the long side. You get this breakout failure up here, which, as we just looked at, aligned with monthly resistance. And here's the rollover, the, the break of support here. And look, I mean, all we're doing is following the trend. Right? That's all we're doing. We're not trying to make things difficult here. It's about following the trend and then finding an opportunity to get on board and then riding it for as long as you can based on what your your management rules will allow for you. So, you know, if you have any questions about 
how to manage your positions to get more out of them. Uh, if you have any questions about how to read and analyze the trend or get on board once you see the trend changing, you know, se send an email to counselor at pristine.com. You can comment in the comment section below, ask questions, or check out Pristine's website for a list of upcoming free webinars. But, you know, the bottom line is there, there are many ways in which you can get in contact with us if you do have these questions. So certainly encourage you to do so. Um, hopefully you found this video helpful and you can go back and look at prior videos as well to see um, other other uh, trades or pairs that have been highlighted throughout the, the series of videos that we've put together here for everyone. Uh, but in the meantime, you know, if you have any comments, like I said, you can shoot us an email or comment in the comment section below. But until next time, stay patient, stay disciplined, and stay confident. We'll talk to you soon.